I'm Dick Bonner with Digistar, and today we're going to talk about use the proper techniques to use when taking samples with the moisture tracker. So to start out, you would want to power your unit up, and we recommend that you power it up uh, and probably leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes prior to taking your samples, um, just so it acclimates to the ambient temperature. Um, it's important both in cold and hot weather to do that. Once you have the unit on and are ready to start taking your measurements, um, you would go into the main menu and click on your measurements. And from there, you can select the farm that you want to use and the feed type that you want to sample. And the first time that you turn it on each day, it's going to come up with this reminder screen. And this is just telling you that you want to uh, verify the calibration of the unit each day before you start sampling. And if you're going to be doing a lot of samples uh, in a day's time, you may want to uh, check the calibration periodically throughout the sampling. So from here, um, I would just pull the trigger to go to the uh, calibration screen. So once I'm at the calibration screen, um, I take my calibration disc, and there's a code on the back, a six-digit code, uh, the 540559 on this disc. And I can verify that that's correct. Um, that I have that entered correctly into the device. That code shows up down here. If I get a different disk, I can go in and easily change that code so that it matches my disk. But as long as my uh, code matches, then I can go ahead and check the calibration on the unit. So the way I want to do that is I want to set the, the disk on a solid um, surface and just hold the sensor on the disk so it doesn't move and I push one to or check the calibration and as long as the result comes up at 99% or more you're, you're okay to take samples um, if it's below 99 it's going to uh, ask you to recalibrate then you would just do the same procedure hold the unit on the disc and press the number two and it'll take about 45 seconds for it to recalibrate so now that we're calibrated we can go back to the measurement screen and we're ready to begin sampling.